We'll guide you through how to download and install the Badline client. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's important to note that you need to go and own Minecraft in order to go and use the Badline client. You need to have gone and paid for it before, essentially. So to go and install it, all we need to do is go and open a web browser. So I use Chrome, so I'll open it up, come to a search engine, and you can just go and search for Badline like so. And here it is at the top here, badline.net. So go and click on it, it'll take a moment to load. Before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server hosts and they've got so many awesome features. For example, they've got one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it, ultra low latency, instant setup, so as soon as you go and purchase it, you can get ready to play in just seconds. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description, you can get 25% off your first invoice. You'll go and see the option to download the client here, and you can also go and see some other sort of useful things here. You know, it's got the highest FPS boost, the largest mod selection, and supports all popular versions. And if we click on client at the top, you can also have the option to do the download as well. So click on download client and it will then go and begin. Now all you need to do is go and wait and if you're using Mac you can select Mac or Linux but I use Windows and that's begun. Then what you need to do is just come out of your browser once it's finished which my pretty much has and we can then go and open up file explorer. In your file explorer come to your downloads and go and find the setup file and all you need to do is go and double click on it like this and then you're going to have the license agreement. Now I've already read this before so I'm going to press I agree. You can then choose where you want to install it. I'll just have it just for me. And you can then set the location. Once again, I'll leave it as it is. And we can then click install. And all you need to do is go and wait. It shouldn't take too long. And just select run bad line client. Or you can just go and manually launch it as well. I'll press finish. And it should go and shortly open up, as you can see. Even though you have just downloaded it, during the setup process, it may go and do some updates, as you can see. Just wait. It shouldn't take too long. But of course, it will depend on your internet speed. After the updates have finished downloading and installing, Badline will go and open up as you can see. And what you need to do is go and log into Minecraft. So at the bottom here, it's saying we can go and log in with Mojang. However, I and you probably have as well have gone and migrated your account to a Microsoft account. So what you can do is click on Login with Microsoft account. You'll go and get this pop up, and then what you need to do is go and sign in with your Microsoft account, which you use for Minecraft, and that you sort of purchased and owned on. So let me go and type mine in now. I've just entered it, and I'll go and click on sign in. It now says processing login request, and for some reason, I need to go and sign in again, which I'll quickly do. I've now gone and signed in, and you'll be taken to the play screen. So over on the left here, you can go and choose your Minecraft settings. So you can go and choose the version. 1.8.9 is sort of the best for PVP, so I'll have that selected. If you've got multiple accounts, you can switch them here and add more. Um, and you can choose if you want to have Optifine on or off. I'd keep it on, it optimizes the game. And to quickly just show you around the clients, at the top here, you've got Play, New, Support and Store. Of course, you've got the Minecraft settings over to the right here. You can scroll down and go and see your servers, so you can quickly join them. And you've got Worlds on the right here as well. And so to go and get started, all you need to do is go and click on launch like so. It may have to do another quick download and install, but just go and wait. It's actually going to go and show you the progress here as well. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a few different steps, but hopefully it won't take too long. As you can see, it's now gone and opened up. And what we can do is go into multiplayer or single player. In this case, I'll go into single player and just go and create a new world just to show you briefly what it's about. When you first go and get into a world, as you can see, you can actually go and choose the profile, which is super cool. So you've got default, skyblock, PVP, bedwar, survival, and mini games. So choose the one which is gonna go and fit you best. For me, it's gonna be survival. And as you can see in the preview, you can see the different features they have. You can always change your profile again in the future though by pausing the game and clicking on BLC options or just from the main menu, click on BLC options, click on profiles at the top, you can click on new profile and you can then click on the edit button and you can go and choose what you want your profile to be for. Whether it be PVP, mini game or whatever, it's gonna be up to you. You can click on update and you can then go and use it. 